All right, we are back for another Star vs. Recap. So, let's get to it, shall we? So, uh, do you guys remember Bon Bon from Season 2? So, what, what I thought was actually going to be for the I don't know this season, but it turned out it wasn't. And it wasn't the season until, like, a few episodes later. Yeah, whatever. Do you remember him? Well, he's back, only different is now pronounced Nob Nob. I will come back. So they're basically doing all the stuff they did in that again, only it's more reverse and they're different characters. And there's one, one that looks like Jenna, only has one eye. And uh, you're not going to believe who's back. Took him like a few episodes. But he's back. So. Guess who's back? Back again. Ludo's back. Tell my friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Ludo's back. Ludo's back. To attack. To attack. Ludo's back. I'm gonna do that. I should just, I should just like do guess who's back whenever a returning character comes in. Let me know how you think about that. So basically that was kind of like a, that was like a whole alternate version of what happened. Oh, the characters are a little different, different, they're different people. And the one is actually a bell for some reason. Then after we will try to take the bell. How this random one go try to use it to center into a send him into a portal. And then he's back in the void like, of the whole universe. Ludo through space or whatever that episode was called. Yeah, I don't have a guess who's back for this one. Cause now Ludo goes back to his house or shack. Heck. And Dennis is here. And Spider and the equal. Cool. So Dennis was going to give a surprise to Ludo. How? By showing him his old castle. Ah oh, crap. Yeah, he shown him his old castle because Dennis moved out of his parents' house because he was able to stand up to them. So he got the deed, and now he owns his own Ludo's old castle, and he wants to have memories at least with him. So Ludo was taking Dennis around his old castle. And Dennis even managed to rebuild his throne. Though Ludo surprisingly didn't like that because he wanted to get rid of his old past. So then all of Ludo's old henchmen in their back and they're gonna try to rebuild the whole place. Though Ludo was having second thoughts. So then. The henchmen were talking about how Ludo would steal the wand from Eclipsa, and Ludo forces his hand and starts to go back to evil. Then he starts getting getting mad at Dennis for the whole thing, the whole castle. And then there was a Radu who was the the landlord, and uh, it turns out that. That Dennis signed a return for their family things, something he didn't know what it meant because he wasn't wearing his glasses. That's why I, I always do. But yeah, and now Ludo is finally gonna take back the one, and he's back in his old first attire. 
only with the addition of a beard. So then Ludo was talking about the about taking over the deed from the de the landlord and uh, all of Ludo's relatives it was come in and rebuild the place. And then Dennis and Ludo started playing basketball with probably the best joke you could probably make. Ludo versus the forces of evil. Isn't that the best joke you could, best joke you've heard? What do you think that would be like, Ludo? Well, Ludo would be a good guy, and he would stop forces of evil. Would Star be the main villain? I'd watch that. Okay, next episode. Let's do it. So it looks like that Queen Moon was just kicking back. Heck, while River was warm flowers, everything was going on fine. And so someone, two people were arguing about laundry, uh, who is to wash shit. But everyone was in a riot. So Queen Moon had an idea to make a schedule to who will do their laundry first. So everybody was writing because all their chores had been done by the people and they were still complaining. So M Moon was, had a idea to go back to the Butterfly Castle. Isn't that place in ruins? Isn't, isn't, it, isn't it like destroyed or whatnot? So she makes to the castle so, and it turns and it wasn't. In ruins, it was all destroyed and all that. that. And she goes into a room and she finds one of her diaries or planners. Or and she sees like a weird light go going on. And she sees like old pictures of her family and relatives. Even a picture of her mother, I think, with. Yeah, I think her mother. Alright, so... Moon stumbles across a ghost. Which actually doesn't turn out to be a ghost at all. Because now... Sorry, I didn't do it for Dennis, but we're doing it for her. Guess who's back? Back again. Mean is back. Tell my friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Mina's back. Mina's back. Cause she's back. Don't ask why. Cause she's back. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. Probably I should have picked a better picture. So yeah, say we're moving. I mean, Mina Loveberry is back. I'm sorry. They, they just look so similar. So she was the one who was fixing the place. Yes. Well, he's trying to so yeah she was fixing it everything even yeah she even was fixing a whole like temple or something inside 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 of a picture of like solaria or what it was called called so do you remember that yada yada Bros episode Turns out that Sailor Moon, I mean, Mina was trying to yada yada Eclipse her. Why? Because of, well, because she hates Eclipse her for reasons. It's because, you know. So, it turns out there was a whole marquee of the... I remember if I family, so I wish it was a bad time, but Mina didn't want to do anything about that, so she just got mad and left. Then she turned Broly mode, and phew, you just know how I like saying, uh, you, you already know that I'm just going to make up some white like, anime, anime things relating to her, because she's basically a Sailor Moon ripoff, if you really think about it. So yeah. Moon comes back 
and River draws a really creepy picture of her. And it turns out that Mina is trying to dethrone Eclipse. So yeah, Mo just gives her her scrapbook to say uh, what she'll do when we're scheduling. Enjoying. So she just lays down and say, "Hey, if Mina's gonna attack Eclipse, it's her problem. Um, she's just gonna kick back and just let it all go." That is, you know, if, you sure she's not a queen? Because if she was, she would be the best queen ever. But yeah, she she's still retired, so. So yeah. On to the next one, shall we? And now, for the last time, almost till the next episode. Episode. Guess who's back? Back again. Four fronts back. Tell my friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Four fronts back. Four fronts back. Pussy's back. And again. Guess who's back? Do 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 do. Okay, Bullfrog's back, and their star brought her, brought him, and his, and brought Eclipsa and Meteora to a cornball game. I think it's like football, but with corn or something. I don't know. Oh, uh, I really apologize for that. Ah, uh, crap. I was still recording, wasn't I? I was trying to do something for a little sketch. My bad. So, Buffrog was, like, upset because, like, Star told him that this whole game is about mutants and... Monsters going together, Star and Buffalo thinks it's a bad idea. But I don't see why there's a problem with it at all. Because, like, I don't see why humans and monsters can't be friends. Heck, two monsters and humans can supposed to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. Hold on, let me take down the lighting. Yeah. Monsters and humans can be boyfriend and girlfriend. Even I wonder how I got that. And the little, the little tadpole things, they've grown a lot. Buffrog's children, they've grown. They kind of look like him now. How? Oh. So much like him. All right, so Kelly. Was announcing the whole, th announcing the whole show with Mar Marco, oh, and the role, and Co was all hyping, all that. Get me ready, let me hear you scream. Let's get ready for Rumble, and all that. <laughs> yeah, so the game is about to begin, and they're now picking teams. So start thought that monsters and humans were gonna work together, but they were going going against that. And, um, yeah, Star was trying to s sell a score, saying that, that monsters and humans could have something in common, saying that they're both like football. But then a riot comes in and saying that humans are better than monsters, and then they're, they're all going wild and all that. Yeah. Just go crazy. Crazy. Just arguing over and over. So uh, everyone was still trying to riot, and then some of the players started to quit the the cornball, and they start to actually fight. Everything wasn't going as planned, but Buffalog kind of knew that it wouldn't turn out good anyway. So, yeah, then all of a sudden, 
all those kids that are in the crowd, they started playing together outside the field. Oh, so they're all just running around having fun and all that. And then, yo, real talk, real quick. You know, I had this plushie for like for like years. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but like, yeah, whatever. So, so the kids were all, all like running around and playing and all that. Fairy girl. So yeah, all the humans and monsters started to get along, and uh, all the kids won, and one of the teams won, won and uh, yeah, they're equal. So yeah, the little ones can, so adults, but the, but the kids, they're fine. On to the next episode, shall we? So, it turns out that Eclipsa is going out, and she's in her hair down. That's how, how with a little, like, she doesn't have her hair on. She's, like, with her hair downward, which I think looks cooler that way. And she has Jenna to babysit Miora. That should go a simple way. Because you, you know Jenna. So, if you know her, this is going to go multiple ways. So, yeah... Jenna starts bibs her, but then all of a sudden she just plays games. And Glossary is here. I would do a song, but I don't really like him that much, cause uh, for a few reasons. So yeah, Glossary was teaching Ninjara about this deep down te technique. Anybody do? Was well, so take. Because I takes her into the, I don't know, the, let's just say the place when, when Star paused time, back in season one or two, whatever that was, was when, you remember that episode when, when Star paused time? Um, well, this is the, that's the place where they went to, went to, for their memories and all that. Do you remember that? Hopefully you do. So now they go to this place known as Rinaldo or something. Because... For reasons. Because Glossary doesn't like this person. Only because he talks a lot. I would relate to this. Probably. I just don't interact. So yeah, this Rinaldo dude... He's, he's got like a giraffe, and he like talks in rhyme and all that. Um. So he talks in rhyme. Are you? Is he by any chance related to a certain someone? I know is a zebra who also talks in rhyme. I think it's just me. All right, so Glossary took Meteora to a place back in time, I think, and uh, there are like a bunch of people who are covered in slime, and they like don't know who they are. So Glossary just take gives them like a little memory thing so then Glossary pulls somebody out of the water and it turns out to be like some that that little tiny unicorn that star had had in like a little little prism or something like that
Okay, so now Ronaldo takes them like forward in time now. Yeah, I turned my other phone off. But now for the very last time in this one. Guess who's back? Rock again. Toppy's back. The La Brent. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Toppy's back. Toppy's back. How's he back? We don't know. He's just back. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, it's been a season since we've seen him. Yeah, this is. So they go back in time and. They see Toffee and his troops chesting their things of how their limbs can, like, grow back and all that. Yeah. So, yeah. And then, all of a sudden, Meteora just did that thing that she did in the previous season. Remember that? She used her, like, eye powers and just, like, you know, did that to Toffee. But, but he still got back up. Because the whole thing and all that. Then they went back. And everything's good now. Then Eclipsa comes back. And she sees Meteora say the word deep down. So yeah, that was another recap of Star vs. Force of Evil. Yeah. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one.